Hey, morning. Uh, Pete, North Las Vegas. This is hopefully going to be a quick video. Um, some of my videos have a, a way of going on a little bit too long, I think. Um, I've just about got the AC finished on my 71 Camaro. And uh, as far as hose routing and how much room I have to get down through here on the uh, lower part of the uh, radiator support or coming up through here on the top, what I'm going to do is drop one of my old fenders on here just temporarily and just get an idea of how I can route the hoses with, with the fender and the headlight uh, bracket on there. And then uh, my refrigerant oil finally came in. And this is what's recommended by AC Delco for their R134, 15-118. And that's, I guess that's a PAG number down below that. 12356151 would be the equivalent for just regular old PAG oil. Um, I'm not going to take the compressor off to put oil in it. I have an extra fitting, so I'm just going to stick the fitting on here and uh, get a syringe or a tube or something and, and put the oil in the compressor. Then I'm probably going to do the same thing down here at the evaporator. I've got a, a spare 90 number six liquid line just to get a little bit of oil in the evaporator. And then, uh, same thing for the uh, condenser. I'll just squirt some oil in through here, let it drain in. So anyway, that's how I plan on getting all the oil in. And I did another video where um, GM is saying if you have a brand new system, you're looking at up to about eight ounces. If you're just doing the compressor, maybe uh, depending on the compressor, two to five ounces of oil. Um, if you're cleaning out the whole system, you're probably back to around, you know, six, eight ounces. But depending on your system, uh, the amount of hosing, uh, and, and you may have different needs as far as the exact amount of oil. And uh, other than a a factory OEM setup, there doesn't seem to be an exact number. So it, it's just going to depend on, on how your system's set up. But I plan on, uh, for the entire system, running about 8 ounces. Okay, so um, back to dropping this fender on. Um, I made some measurements of where this core support is supposed to go in relation to one of their center line points on the firewall. And here's the dimensions over here. And you're looking at 43.2, just call that 43 and a quarter. I'm not gonna get all wound up about 40 thousandths of an inch. But from the center line, which is this attaching bolt on the fender, and that this is the top view of the fender, and that attaching hole uh, correlates to this hole on top of the cow firewall. So that's where this dimension comes in. And then it looks like it's to the first hole on the fender is where they come up with this 43.2 on the uh, radiator support. So that's going to be this hole right here. So from here to here, you're looking at 43 and a quarter. So uh, let me get my tape measure out and we'll, we'll see if we're close. Okay, so I don't have three hands, so I was trying to figure out how to do this. Um, I'm actually going to put the camera in my shirt pocket. And that seems to uh, give about the right angle. So anyway, we're going to go from the, uh, the center line point, according to the assembly manual. So we're going to stick our tape measure from here. To here and I'm gonna let go of the firewall side I'm gonna hold this steady and you can see we're right at 43 and a quarter and so I went over here to the other side and I thought ah, they can't possibly be the same you know I wasn't that good getting this all mounted up but um, if we go to this side here you'll see that I came in right at 43 and a quarter. So as far as the assembly manual goes, I got this thing like <laughs> I got this thing like dialed in like right where it's supposed to be. Okay, so when I actually put the fenders on, uh, do the are these numbers gonna be the same? I doubt it, you know, it's probably going to be off. I'm going to have to make some adjustments. I'm either going to have to put some shims on the fender 
and uh you know it, just to drop them on yeah the odds of that happening where everything just works out no nah, it's not going to happen um one other thing um i i already measured my old fender and all the the numbers come in right on the old fender the original fender and i've also measured my uh two brand new repops from oer that i got from classic and all the mounting holes are correct dimensions um, as far as the rest of the fender i don't know we'll find out but at least the mounting holes where the fender bolts onto the car are correct on my repops okay uh like i said i'm trying to keep this short video today so uh pete north las vegas over and out